Hi everyone, these are our class technology rules. As all of you know, we made a real big technology change last year with the addition of the Chromebooks going home with the students every day. In science, this is particularly important because science, we have a curriculum that runs off of the Chromebook. So essentially their Chromebook is their textbook in science. So not having uh, a, a charge ready to go Chromebook every day really puts you at a disadvantage. It makes you unable to participate in the lesson we're doing. So in our technology rules, the first of four actually doesn't involve the Chromebooks is the phones. And that is we ask that no phones ever in your classroom on your person. Leave them in your locker or put them in a class phone holder. I have a holder for the phones that is right at the front of the class. It's the first thing the kids see when they walk in. But getting those uh, phones rather out of students' pockets is really, really helpful because it's just a tremendous temptation if they're in their pockets and they feel them vibrating to pick them up and answer those messages. And if they're not on their person, they won't have that temptation. So please, no phones in class. If they do come to class because you forget, then simply put them in the holder at the front of the room. This one I already kind of went over, but you've got to have a, a charged Chromebook in class every single day. They are our textbook. Three, when you walk into class, your Chromebook is closed and it doesn't open until the teacher directs you to do so. Sometimes we have students get in the class maybe two or three minutes before the final bell rings and they open them up and they start chatting in Google or something like that. And that just becomes one more thing that we have to have everybody close out of and it doesn't lead to a very efficient starting of your lesson. So again, Chromebooks are closed once you enter class. You do not open them until directed by a teacher. The fourth one and final one is kind of the other end of that. And that is at the conclusion activity, you log out and you close your Chromebook. You're not web surfing or gaming when you're done. Uh, it is really, really disruptive to other students that may still be working on their science lesson around you. If you've got some sort of game on your screen or you've got some sort of YouTube video or something like that. So it's really important when you're done with the academic use of the Chromebooks, it gets closed. And those are our four rules. We're going to be very tight on them. Um, the Chromebooks can be a very good thing if they're used right, but they can also lead to a lot of misdirection, shall we say, when they're not used correctly. So we'll really appreciate parent support on these rules this year as well. And thank you for watching.